Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla launches discounts for Model S and Model X in China. Toyota slips in brand loyalty, and it's partly due to Tesla. Tesla VP Lars Moravi shares insights on Model Y's first principles engineering. And Tesla's 2023.26 software update is packed with new features. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla China has rolled out an inventory car purchase incentive for the Model S sedan and Model X SUV. As per an announcement on the company's official Weibo page, the Model S and Model X line in China can be acquired at discounted prices. As per a graphic posted by Tesla China, the Model S long range could now be purchased for 773,900 yuan, which is $106,690 while the Model S Plaid, the electric vehicle maker's best performing car in its lineup today, could be purchased for 988,900 yuan, which is $136,330. For comparison, Tesla China's official website lists the Model S long range with a price of 808,900 yuan, which is $111,515 while the Model S Plaid is listed on the country's online configurator, with a price of 1,028,900 yuan, which is $141,844. The Model X also received some discounts from the electric vehicle maker. As per Tesla's poster on Weibo, the Model X long range could be purchased at 863,900 yuan, which is $119,097. The Model X Plaid, an all-electric SUV, with comparable performance as supercars on the quarter mile, could be acquired for a discounted price of 1,013,900 yuan, which is $139,776. On Tesla China's official website, the Model X long range is listed with a price of 898,900 yuan, which is $123,922 and the Model X Plaid is listed with a price of 1,058,900 yuan, which is $145,980. Tesla China's recently shared poster on Weibo listed a number of other incentives for buyers of the Model S and Model X SUV. As per the graphic, if a Model S or Model X is purchased on the recommendation of someone else, the customer will receive an additional 7,000 yuan incentive, which is $965, free supercharging for 3 or 6 years, and 90 days of free enhanced autopilot access. The referrer will receive 48,000 bonus points that can be redeemed for supercharging miles as well. The Tesla Model S and Model X do not sell as many units as their more affordable stablemates, the Model 3 sedan and Model Y crossover. Despite their relatively low sales figures, in comparison to the two mainstream EVs, the Model S and Model X are important parts of Tesla's lineup. This is because they represent the best that the electric vehicle maker has to offer today. Moving to the next update, Toyota slips in brand loyalty, and it's partly due to Tesla. S&P Global Mobility's 2023 loyalty ranking of mainstream automotive brands showed something very interesting. During the first four months of the year, Toyota saw a notable decline in its rankings, and part of it is likely due to electric vehicle maker Tesla. The rankings showed that Ford and Chevrolet still saw the most loyalty among customers, with the former seeing 59.5% brand loyalty and the latter seeing 57.1% for the first four months of the year. As per analyst Tom Libby, during a webinar held by the S&P, Toyota is typically neck and neck with Ford and Chevrolet, but this did not happen this time around at all. Instead, Toyota was down 5.7 points from the same time last year to 52.3%. While there are a lot of factors that affect an automaker's brand loyalty, the effects of Tesla's presence in the market are definitely becoming palpable. As noted in an automotive news report, Toyota's drop could be due to conquests by Tesla, as the EV maker saw a rise in migrations for nearly every mainstream auto brand. In Toyota's case, the percentage of customers who migrated to Tesla was up 2.1 points, 
to 5% year-over-year. Granted, EV sales are still very small compared to the sales of internal combustion-powered vehicles, but Libby highlighted that there's no doubt that Toyota, Honda, and some other Asian brands are being impacted tremendously by Tesla. Tesla, for its part, is gaining momentum with the electric vehicle maker topping the loyalty ranking for luxury brands at 68%. That's 18.8 .8 points above its closest competitor, BMW, which was in second place. Libby highlighted that no other luxury brand is above 50%, which suggests that Tesla is the only car maker today that is keeping more customers than it is losing. This is a substantial change from previous years, and it is driven by the extraordinary cloud and success of Tesla, the analyst noted. Tesla's loyalty is so dominant that it is up 1.1 points, even if the company has not really released a new vehicle to the market for several years now. Interestingly enough, Tesla's rise is even having an impact on fuel-type loyalty. S&P recorded an average EV loyalty of 67.8% in April. This number is impressive, but when Tesla was removed from the dataset, the EV loyalty figures dropped to about 49.7%. Moving to the next update, Tesla VP Lars Moravi shares insights on Model Y's first principles engineering. Tesla Vice President of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi, recently explained how the Model Y was engineered from first principles. The Model Y is Tesla's most popular car today, and it has also become the world's best-selling car in the first quarter, outselling the ubiquitous Toyota Corolla. In a video that was recently shared on Tesla's social media channels, Moravi shared some interesting points about the Model Y. The VP noted that at Tesla, the team never settles on a conventional approach, even if it is something that has worked in the past. This was the approach that paved the way for features like the Model Y's off-road assist, which is quite unique among similar vehicles of its class. The VP noted that Tesla's boundary is physics, so the team's task is to take things as far as possible. The use of mega casts, for example, allowed Tesla to replace dozens of welded parts with one massive casted component. So revolutionary are the Model Y's megacasts that other car makers have started sharing plans to adopt similar strategies. The Model Y is one of Tesla's most successful vehicles. While the vehicle is quite understated in the way that it is pretty much a crossover version of the Model 3 sedan, its combination of safety, power, space, utility, and technology has made the vehicle perfect for numerous car buyers. This is one of the reasons why in the first quarter, the Model Y made history by becoming the world's best-selling car, electric or otherwise. Moving to the last update, Tesla's 2023.26 software update is packed with new features. Tesla often releases software updates to improve their vehicles, but there haven't been many updates lately, packed with new features. That changed today with the release of Software Update 2023.26, which includes a number of new features and improvements, some of which have long been asked for. The update was first detected by third-party companion app Teslascope, who shared details of the release notes on Twitter. One of the biggest new features is something that was first detected in the source code earlier this year, something called Charge on Solar. As the name implies, this feature allows Tesla owners with Solar and Powerwall to charge their EV with excess solar. All of this is controlled through the Tesla mobile app, where you can select how much charging comes from solar versus other sources. One feature that has long been asked for finally arrived in 2023.26, and that is headlights automatically turning on when your wipers are activated. This is a feature that has been in other cars for years, but has been notably absent from Tesla vehicles. Another requested feature that arrived is Bluetooth game controller support. According to the release notes, this feature will work best with Sony PS5 controllers, but any Bluetooth controller should work. There have also been some improvements to Sentry mode. One is that it will now always trigger and start recording when someone tries to open a door or trunk when the vehicle is locked. Another is the ability to view multiple cameras in your mobile app. 
According to an image included in the release notes, you will now be able to see the front, rear, and side repeater cameras in a grid pattern when viewing live sentry mode, a feature that requires a premium connectivity subscription. It also includes features such as Spotify refresh, destination closing soon, and warmer display colors. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.